This is a lifelong memory day for Kevin, as he just received his admission letter from a college. Overjoyed at the good news, he decided to hold a party with his friends in the school. To share his joy with his friends, Kevin ordered three huge pizzas from the parlor nearby with his favorite mushroom and spinach topping. These pizzas are so huge, so please cut them into 16 pieces each. No problem. The chef replied. The party was held successfully. After then, Kevin found there were some pizzas left. How many pieces of pizza did we leave in all? Can we express it by using a fraction? Of course. There is one whole pizza. The other pizza cut into 16 pieces has seven pieces left. We can express it as seven sixteenths. So it is one and seven sixteenths in all. Good job. It is a mixed number. Do you know how to convert it as an improper fraction? I'll tell you. First, one and seven sixteenths can be written as one plus seven sixteenths. Rewrite one as a fraction that has the same denominator as seven sixteenths. That is sixteen sixteenths. Then add them. We get 23 sixteenths. Cool. Or you can simplify the process in one go. Leave the denominator the same, multiply the denominator by the whole number part, and add the result to the numerator. Let me have a try. Keep the denominator the same. So the denominator is still 16. Multiply the denominator 16 by the whole number part, which is 1, and add the result to the numerator, 7. The new numerator is 23. This fraction is 23 sixteenths. Is it right? Congratulations. <laughs> now, do you want more pizzas?